What's up gamers, my name is That Jack, and today I'm going to show you how to make a simple modern block design. I'll show you how to make the base block with glow and shading, and I'll show you how to decorate it so that you can add it to your own levels. So uh, let's get started. Alright, so when I start a level, the first thing I do is make a layout. So here I have what my layout would look like, and so this is what we're going to decorate. So the first thing I want to do is go to the lines tab and select these thicker lines and I'm going to put them along only the top of the block as well as this side just to make it a bit more consistent. For the sides of the block I'm going to use these normal sized lines to fill in that area. Next I'm going to select the layout blocks and put them to group 1 so that they're invisible. Next I'm going to go to a new layer which is layer 2 and take these blank blocks and fill in the structure. Now we have this. It's just a blank block so now of course we need colors. Alright, first I'm going to set the ground to black. You don't have to do this but I will. And I'm going to make the line copy the color of the object color, which is currently white. Next, I'm going to select the background color. So I'm going to use this plus thing at the top, which allows me to see what color the background is when I'm changing it. So I want my background to be a dark blue color, so I'm going to set this slider to blue. I'm going to set the brightness slider to dark, maybe a bit more this blue, and now I'm going to make it a bit less saturated. And a bit darker as well. So now we have this color, and I'm going to set the background to this blank background. So for the color of these blank blocks that fill in the space, I'm going to copy the color of the background, and I'm going to put these all on object color 3, where I'm also going to paste the background color. So now the structure just looks like it's empty, so I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the background. I'm going to select one of these objects, press this color button, that we open up the sliders and I'm going to turn up the brightness a bit. I'm going to turn it up this much. Now you can choose what color you want to set this to. Personally I would go with a color that's not too bright. Something like this. But if you don't want to texture your blocks, which I'll explain later, you might want a bit of a darker color. But I'm going to set it to this for now. I'm also going to set these spikes, the detail color, to color 3 as well. Now, the next thing we need is the object color, which is the color of all these lines on the block. A good color that goes with a dark blue is a light cyan. So I'm going to change the color slider to a cyan color, and I'm going to make it pretty desaturated about 40% of the way to white. I'm going to keep the brightness at the max since if I made it darker it looks kind of weird. Now our next step is a bit strange but it'll make your block look really nice. You're gonna want to go to a new layer and go to the lines tab and take these extra thick blocks and put them on the top and left sides of the block. just like this. And so once we select all of these we want to create a new color which I'm going to use color 5 and set it to blending and so now we get this white color. You might notice now it doesn't look very good but once we turn down the opacity something 
like 0 0.30 might do it. Yeah, something like 0 0.30. You can see it makes it look like the block has a little bit of bevel. And so we're going to do the same thing, but with a dark shadow. So if we create a new color, make it black. Make sure these are Z order two. And so now if we decrease the opacity, something like 0 0.21. we get a lighter side and a darker side, and it makes the block seem like it pops out a bit more. To help with the shading of the block, we're going to add some glow and some shadow. So take this big piece of glow and do the same thing that you did with these lines. You put it across the top, and you put a corner piece just like this. So wherever you put these thick lines, put the glow. And so now we're going to want to create a new color and make it copy the color of the object. And so now we do the slider thing again. Using the sliders is really useful. We turn down the opacity until it's just barely noticeable. And now we go back to that layer. Now we're going to create a glow staircase to create a smooth big glow. And so for this one we're only going to need two layers. So we're going to do one, two, like that. But if you need more, you can keep going. And so what you do is you fill in a glow staircase like that. And then you stack all the layers onto one block. For me, I'm going to link this object together. If you don't have the link controls activated, click on this yellow gear and enable link controls. And so now we're going to use the same black color from before that we used for the shadow. And we're going to put this over the block. And now just for laying, we're going to put this on T2 so that it's over the block. Alright, that's it for the base of the block. Now we're going to move on to the details. Something I like to do in my levels is add a kind of texture to the block. So using any one of these blocks, you can use these ones or these ones, uh, even these ones, what you do is you select, you place down the objects like this. I'm going to make one part of this invisible. Black blending makes a color invisible. And so now we only have these. It's a bit more clean. Now I'm going to set the other color, the detail, to this black color again. And now we have kind of a texture to the block so that it's not just flat. I think this makes the blocks look a lot nicer. So feel free to use that in your levels as well. Now for the actual details of the block, I'm going to use these connector pieces as details. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a snake pattern. So it's gonna start here and then turn and then turn again and then go all the way back and then go down so that it covers the whole top part of the block. And so I'm going to use these and put them there like that to create a kind of snake thing where only the corners have these circle pieces. So now I'm going to change the color. I'm going to set the base color to the object color by making a new color channel that copies the object color. And for the details, which are the middle of the circles, I'm going to set it to black blending or invisible. Now you might notice that there's a bit of an odd texture on these line pieces and that it looks a little weird when you put it to a bright color like this. 
A way to fix this, and you can use this on other details as well, is selecting all of it and then copy and pasting it on itself. So now you notice that there's a bit less discrepancies in the opacity, which makes it look cleaner and it's much better for modern. Now for a finishing touch, we can use these big glow circles and scale them down a bit and then put them onto the blending object color. And so I'm going to change the opacity a bit since this looks a bit bright to something like that. And I'm going to put these over each one of the circles. So now they have a bit more of a glowy appearance. Now to decorate these two spikes here on the side of the block, I like to use these two small triangle objects. And I put these on T2 and I decrease the brightness and increase the saturation. Now normally you think if you want a darker color you would just decrease the brightness. However, when building in modern levels it looks better if you increase the saturation the same amount that you decrease the brightness. So you can see I decrease the brightness by 0.06 and so I'm going to increase the saturation by 0.06. And so now we get something like that. And so if it's not noticeable enough, we can increase the saturation a bit more and decrease the saturation and decrease the brightness by the same amount. So now we have 0.1 and negative 0.1. And now it's a bit darker. Now for the big spike, we can just copy paste it and scale it up to 2 and then move it into the middle a bit more. Now when you put this into your own level you don't have to copy exactly what I did. You can use the base that I made and change the texture or change the details. Feel free to experiment with this. You can try using different structure types. Maybe something like this is what you're going for. But if you're a newer creator, I would recommend sticking with structures like these, where it's just two rectangles merged together pretty much. Although these ones aren't too hard to decorate either. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is much better than my other block design tutorial. And I hope you have fun building your level. Thanks for watching.